I learned about the EMBA program from UT because we had a relationship with my company and the Supply Chain Institute here. So I knew their reputation and their focus on the supply chain. When I started researching uh, executive MBA programs, I used Gartner Resources uh, online searches and University of Tennessee was at the top of the list. I had uh, considered MBAs or MBA programs before, but what really drew me to this UT program was the global supply chain focus, and it was different from other opportunities. It's something that I have been looking at uh, over really the last three or four years. Over that time period, I've watched the University of Tennessee's program move from a top five program to the number one program. The program is really aligned with my professional goals and that I'm not only gaining a secondary discipline in supply chain, but I have more of a long-term objective of becoming a, a general management or senior C-suite leader um, in, in companies in the future. As we consider our current role, uh, obviously we want to gain skills that help us in that role, but if we're looking to maybe change organizations or be marketable, you want a program with a national relevance to do your executive education. The EMBA GSE program really well fit what I needed from a, from a time point of view. With an 11 month program, it was shorter and more condensed than some of the other options I'd looked at. The time commitment is something that everyone needs to consider. But if you look at some of the other programs that span 18 months, two years, or even three years, it's been uh, an opportunity to consolidate that into a year period. It was an 11 month program, so I could see the start and end date in the same calendar year. They had the program lined out for the entire year, so I could see in my schedule how to balance my time with work based on the assignment due dates and uh, flexibility within the program if needed. It had four residence periods that were quite uh, concentrated where we got you know, a lot of interaction with our classmates as well as learning from the faculty. I really loved that the program was full of these situational simulations and experiences and it really allowed for applied learning. Having those four resident uh, periods where you can really immerse yourself um, with the talented staff and your cohort and be on site and just, you know, almost 100% dedicated uh, to the learning. One of the best moments of the program was going into residency period two in Panama. We got to go to Panama and be you know, right on the canal when a, sh a container ship was going through and just kind of be there and see that. It was a really unique experience that stands out. There was particularly a day when we were on a pineapple plantation where I have an agricultural background and got to share a lot of my own personal upbringing experiences that really just created some neat bonds with people. In Hamburg, Germany, you know, they were trying to figure out how they were gonna pay their electric bill, right? Because of the, the war in Ukraine and their energy prices going up. It was eye-opening for us to be able to experience that as, as a class there. The uh, EMBA GSC program was really flexible and kept in mind the fact that we have full-time jobs and that was really helpful and important through the, through the years. The flexibility of the program has really worked for me at this time in my life to be able to balance uh, career, family, and continuing education. Uh, I found the workload to be about 10 to 20 hours of work a week. There was a time when uh, work got a little hectic and the professors were extremely flexible. I was able to, to move a few assignments and have them do a few weeks later. In the event that there was a conflict and I was unable to get to an assignment, the program was very good about understanding and just evolving the, the due dates relevant to when I could when I could complete them. The current environment and supply chain obviously is very unpredictable. So having the ability to push out assignments and take a little bit of extended time has been extremely important and valuable.